Thank you. Good morning. I've been looking at you this morning. You have used every faculty in your body to dance. You use this one to dance. This one is, da is tired. This one, this one is tired. This one too is tired. This one is tired. What again? Head. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. The word of God is everything. It has the power to quicken us spiritually. So, and I know you are very, very spiritual now. You can see beyond TV Joshua. If you don't see beyond me, you are not here. You need to see beyond me to understand what is happening here. If it's this body you are looking at, you have not seen. Tell your neighbor, if this body, this appearance, you are just seeing, mm, you have not seen anything. Tell your neighbor. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> you continue to see yourself, but to really see what you are here for. You need to be spiritual. You have seen the word of God working in the spirit, the name working in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, you see what happened? Yeah? I saw a woman after finishing the deliverance. He was looking. Imagine what must have happened. I said, oh. I was just sitting there. I said, oh, no. Ah. Ah, my husband will be looking at me at home. And my husband never knew that I'm, I, I, I'm here. But now, see me. Oh, what I have said, I had never even knew. Oh, any, ah, 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 ah. It was later, he said, thank you, Jesus. That is the word of God for you. He has the ability to quickly spiritually. Let's just look at the text. That is John 6, verse 63. The Spirit gives life, and the flesh counts for nothing. The word I have spoke to you, they are full of what? Full of the Spirit and life. That is, the word you have been listening to this morning, they are full of the Spirit and life. That is the word of God. Since the word of God is spirit and life, your life has to depend on it to be a Christian and to continue to grow as a Christian. Your life has to work. I can hear you. They depend on the word of God. And how can our life depend on the word of God? How do we have faith? By paying attention as if our life depend on it. And you know when your life depend on something, you switch on your heart. To it. Switch on your what? Your heart to it. When you are desperate to get a contract, you switch off your handset. Even when people are calling you, you will not pick it until you get that contract. After getting the contract, you switch it on. And you now say, hello, hi, help me, thank God, though. You switch on your heart to the word of God. Because your life depends on it. No other life, 
No other way, the word of God. So the same word of God you have been seeing since morning, doing the healing, doing the deliverance, doing, you have seen all what has happened today. It should not let each way go without you understand it. They say, Jesus, uh-huh. what, do, what does that mean? Because your life depends on it, on knowing it. Don't let each way go without you understand it. Faith does not originate in ourselves. No wonder faith cannot be found when we examine our life. Why is faith? Faith is not possible. But when we examine our daily life, we can find how much faith we have. When you examine your what? Your daily life you can find how much faith you have, how much you believe God. You can know if you're a Christian, you can know it's only we are deceiving ourselves. You know, if you sit down, am I a Christian? You don't need to ask anybody. You can know if you're a Christian, if you're not a Christian, you can know. Because you know what has happened to you. Because your business is prosper does not mean you're a Christian. <laughs> oh my God. The kind of peace that comes determine where your effort comes from. Ah, you are a Christian because you are a rich man. The kind of peace that comes determine where your, your breakthrough comes from. But today, when you see someone with breakthrough, with uh, money, with everything, you say, ah, no, God has answered this man. No, oh, no. You have forgotten what the Bible says in the book of John 14, verse 27. Let's, let's go to the John book. Hallelujah. Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give you as the war gives. That means God can give the peace. People of the world can give peace, also can give even healing, can give whatever you call it. Breakthrough you are looking for, they can give you breakthrough. Listen to what the Bible says here. It says, peace I live with, with you, peace I give you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Me, the world can give peace. Can you have so breakthrough, rich and everything, and there's no peace. Take note. Your business can prosper, yet you are not a Christian. The kind of peace that comes, they tell me where your prosperity comes from. So, God is unknowing. So, don't look at others that prosper. You too, you are running also to be prosper. What kind of prosperity are you talking about? A prosperity without peace? Breakthrough without peace? Success without peace? Because this is the challenge you are facing as a Christian. You allow your situation to rule you, to disturb you, because it's difficult for you. You believe you are not a Christian. Whereas that difficulty can be used to preserve you, to prepare you, to strengthen your desire and your determination for God. It's not yet over. I'm here in your presence. 
and you know me very well, and you know my antecedent, and you know the kind of war I have fought in the past, compared to the war you have fought. Okay, now begin to compare yourself to TV Joshua, what you have gone through in life. Forget about your age. What you have gone through, what I have gone through. We can't look for peace where there is no peace. You believe here is a refuge where you can run to. That is why you are here. It means there is peace. Okay, let me run to your place too for refuge. And you have been sitting since morning. Can't the number of people that say, ah, thank you, thank you. They have been in bondage, and here they are released. They say, ah, I can breathe now. Ah, I can eat now. Yeah. Ah, ah, I can see now. And nothing exchange, no money, freedom. As it, it was given to us, so we give it. Freely we are given, and freely. <clears throat> As I say, whether you feel any form at the gate, and when you are asked to give your offering, they were telling you, you must give certain offering, or your neighbor know what you are given. That is the way it should be. That is life of faith. And we are so much concerned about you. So much. We want to make sure you live here with abundant life, abundant blessing. So that is it. When you live here, you continue that life. Give. Be a good giver. Irrespective of religion, first love. It should be known by your love. Because faith cannot work without love. And love cannot work without faith. Tell your neighbor, be known by your love. I can't hear you. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Because only faith pleases God. And faith cannot walk without love. And love cannot walk without faith. I am a Christian. That is not the name of God. The name of God is love. What is the name of God? Love. How many people have you trying to help today with all your heart? Love will expect you to sit and look around you. Whom to help? Whom to care for, whom you think they need your help. Look around, look around again. Look, look at your back, look at your front. Whom to care for. Whom to ask questions. After leaving, you ask, oh, Madam, I've been seeing you since morning. You were sitting at my bar. And uh, your mood was not quite friendly. Your mood was not quite as friendly. I don't know where. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, I don't have transport back home. I have some challenges I need to see man of God for. Love look around to see whom to help, whom to care for. Tell your neighbor. 
It's risk in our generation now. It's very, very risk. But what, what, what to live for, it's what to risk for. It's something is what to live for. It's what to want. Yeah? So it's risk. It's very risk. To look around to see whom to help is very risk. But you have to take that risk. Because you are a soldier of God. Take this home. No matter how great your faith, without love, is zero. Tell your neighbor, no matter how great your faith, without love, is what? Zero. Ask yourself, how many people have you helped today? Ask your neighbor. I know what your neighbor says. He say, I'm in the church. I cannot help you. When I get home, I will help. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Rise up for prayer. Where is your faith? Ask your neighbor. Let's start this way. Faith is manifested in the small things in our daily life. Say it again. I can hear you. Okay, what is the meaning of that? How do you manifest your faith in the small things? What is that small thing in our daily life? Can somebody tell me? Okay, that will give you a good example of what I'm talking about. See, small thing. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I want to comb my head. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We must know how much we need God. You need faith to sit. You need faith to stand. You need faith to turn your neck. You need faith to look up. You need faith to comb your hair. You need, even need faith to greet. But you just need faith for healing. That is you. <laughs> Breakthrough. Man of God, my business is not going well. I need faith. Man of God, I have pain. I have pain. God, I need business. Do thing, BBT. You must know how much you need God to wear your dress, to greet, to walk. You need faith to run, to enter your vehicle, to drive. I mean, you need faith. Faith is manifested in the small things in our daily life, unless you start this way, you cannot uh, be a woman of faith or man of faith. You must start somewhere. You must learn alphabet to be able to pronounce and study. You must go through the primary, secondary to university. That is the issue of faith. That is the issue of God. You must know how much you need God. You need God to talk. You need God to see it. You need God to, to, to cough. <coughs> Jesus' name. Thank you, God. I want to butt in my... Thank you, Jesus. 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 Me is God that is butting. Thank you, Jesus, to comb your hair. Mean what? Thank you, Jesus, to iron your dress. Mean? Thank you, Jesus, to sit. Mean? Thank you, Jesus, to stand. That is the meaning. Give all glory and credit. <laughs> so your case is this way. So see the door. 
You don't need God to open your this door. You can do it. What you can do yourself, you say, oh, no, I will do it. Now, you want to come out? You don't need God. You open the door. That is you. Until you know that you need God to open the door. Then you can need him to jump here. Here you cannot jump. When you want to jump, you say, Ah, Iman, 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 Iman. You exercise, God, in Jesus' name. Until you know you need God to open this door, then you can need God to jump. Okay, can you exercise this now? You want to go on your seat? You need God? Just say, thank you, Jesus. You stand up. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Let's start it now. Uh Uh-huh. Start this. It will be well with you. It will be well. It will be well when you get to the vehicle and you're about to start, open the door, thank you, Jesus. Sitting to start your vehicle, thank you, Jesus. Not only when you are facing accident and your vehicle is about to somersault, say, Jesus, Emmanuel TV, Emmanuel TV. Emmanuel <laughs> TV, Emmanuel TV. Emmanuel TV is now God. But you have find yourself in a situation beyond you. So God will begin to work for you. When you begin to know how much you need him, that thank you Jesus means is the one doing it. And he will do it perfectly. <laughs> Greet your neighbor and say thank you Jesus. Yes. As you greet your neighbor, you say, thank you, Jesus, for giving you the grace to greet. That is it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for that grace. If you are with me here, let me see your hand. It's not a joke. This is the life I live. That is why many of you that you have lucky to get me on the line. You see, when you are talking, I pause. I'm at that moment saying, thank you, Jesus. Hello? Okay, sir, I would like to speak to you. Of course. Thank you, Jesus. Hello? It's my strength, it's my life. Without him, I'm finished. Say your neighbor, it's my strength, my joy, my life. Without him, Without him, I'm finished. That is it. Look at my brother with this Agbada now. Big Agbada. So beautiful. Next week I want to wear this gown. <laughs> and uh, I, I just admire you. But you need Jesus to wear this Agbada. <laughs> and you need Jesus to remove it. Mm, so... If not, it will be too heavy for you. <laughs> you just remove it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. As you are saying that, you acknowledge Father. Acknowledgement is a great thing. Very, very great thing. It's not possible for you to continue pretending acknowledging, to wear your dress, to comb your hair, to greet, to eat. You don't need to say, in the name of Jesus. You don't need to do that. Just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you is okay. Solve the problem. You are, thank you, Jesus. And you see what will happen. Yes. The great thing, the difficult thing you are facing, and you want him to do, first acknowledge him the small thing. Anytime you are facing challenges, then he will listen to you. Even in the thing you don't need him to do, you can do it yourself. Let him know he's the one doing them. You see, people say T.B. Joshua is not a, it's not have speaking skills, not a 
I cannot do da 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 when I need to call Jesus before I say a word in my heart. Jesus is Lord. Amen, amen, amen. It's difficult for me to do that. When I say in Jesus' name, I need to say thank you, Jesus, on my own. Be he. I pause. Thank you, Jesus. You don't know this, but this is my secret. When I start now and I begin to say, be he in the name of Jesus, I pause. I will not say, oh, thank you, Jesus, for giving me the grace to call your name. It's not the truth. Be he, be he, be delivered. Amen. Uh, what is all this? Acknowledgement. Not mine, not mine, the choice. Not mine, not mine, not mine, the choice. Acknowledge men. Look at what happened to David when he was called to face a Goliath. You listen to what he said. Took his, his he measured his antecedent when he was a caterer. So you have acknowledge men is the answer to your situation. That's it. Can somebody give us a lecture for one minute before we proceed? Yes, sir. From what we learned today is that we should always concentrate on Jesus in our hearts, thanking him daily in everything we do. Because in the little, little ways we concentrate on him, that will determine how big we can receive him in our hearts. Thank you. Thank you. That is, faith is manifested in the small things in our daily life. The Word of God has ability to develop a force within our hearts called faith. I don't need to say it out, but I want to say it out so that you know what I mean. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You will soon be pregnant of Jesus. That is the secret. That is the greatest name, the only name that can scare all your enemy and send them away. Whether you mean it or not, try it, begin now, and see whether it will not turn to reality. It will become a reality. You now find its spirit, the spirit of God begin to defend you, there for you, in Norway. We are about to enter the new year. Enough is enough. What you are going through in the hands of enemy is mess. It's mess. You deserve excellence. Many people out there that say they are Christian, they cannot actually say emphatically that they are Christian because of what they are going through. You sleep, masculine will chase you. A lot of nonsense. Are you a Christian? That is the question you used to ask yourself. Enough is enough. The kind of peace that comes determines where your prosperity comes from, where your breakthrough comes from, 
where your sources come from, face your neighbor, the kind of peace that comes determine where your breakthrough, where your success, where your breakthrough come from. So thank you very much. Let us pray. The kind of peace that comes, the timing, what you are proud of, is love, is love, amen. He has risen from the dead. Pause now. What it should be going in your heart? Thank you, Jesus. 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 You don't need to see what you thank him for. You first say thank you and see what will happen next. You move, you walk, you smile, you, you greet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Even there is a situation before you. Thank you, Jesus. Difficult time before you. Thank you, Jesus. You receive a very bad phone call. Say thank you, Jesus. He will take care. He likes thanks. He likes what? Hmm. Tell your neighbor. Say, Jesus like what? Hmm. He likes it so much. It's so much. Open your mouth to say thank you for him. Your heart should be full of thanks. 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 We give, give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. Our souls are so rest. Oh. This is the habit you need to cultivate now. Habit is a gift from God. Habit. She said, okay, sometimes you go on your knee. You can just say, God, did this for me, did that for me, did that for me. Thanks said to the whole team. Sometimes you know, know God, give me bread, give me biscuit, give me this. Mm. Because you don't know what you say. It's your creator. He knows you more than yourself. If you now say it will give you sin, this is like a, he's not know his responsibility. So thanks has settled the whole thing. When you cultivate this 24-7, thanks, thank you, your heart, thanks, you are, you are praying. Tell your neighbor you are praying. You are praying. Yes. A breaking faith is breaking God. You have to walk by faith 24-7. Thanks, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord. 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 You are praying. You are praying. 
Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus' name. I'm supposed to meet you in prayer. Now, I say in Jesus' name because you have been praying. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your heart is saying it. That's why I say in Jesus' name. But you are not always in prayer, Moon. You are not always in attitude of prayer. This is why enemy can catch you just on prepare. Anything can happen to you just like that. When I'm going, just walking on the street, walking anywhere you meet me, you challenge me, you know <laughs> I'm not walking alone. Because I pray all the time. No, I'm going. You see me going. Sometimes you say, TV Joshua. Before I say, you, hey, how are you? Because I'm busy. See me? But you, when you are going on, you just started. <laughs> you know, a lot you have said about me. You pray to ban me. You pray to lose me. There was a time you gave me four years, and uh, this is uh, almost 30 years now. I refuse to disappear. <laughs> you keep rebooking me, you keep rebanning me. I'm always busy. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. I cannot reply you because I'm busy with you. Thank you, Jesus. When you're busy with your thank you, Jesus, you will not have time to reply your enemy. The word thanks me blessing. So please, take note of this. This is the reason why I don't reply my critics. Because I'm busy, meditate, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right now, begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Now, you are supposed to be pregnant of this prayer now. Now, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You'll be pregnant of Jesus, and you have so much to give. Anytime you talk, fire come out, power come out. As you are saying, begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That is what I'm expecting to say. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, in your heart, in your spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say that before you sleep. The spirit will take it up. Because when you sleep, you cannot say it again. Only the spirit in you that will say it. So the spirit will take it up. And continue to thank you, Jesus. No enemy can come against you. Thank you, Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Only you know what you are thanking him for. Your enemy can never know. So that's it. You know why you are saying thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Cover myself with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Whatever spirit that operating in your life, Right now, begin to chase them out. Chase them out. Operating your business, operating your career, operating in your family. Whatever spirit. Cualquier espíritu operando en tu vida, en tu familia, en tus negocios, finanzas. Échalo fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Quel que soit l'esprit qui opère dans votre carrière, dans votre vie, commencez à les chasser maintenant au nom de Jésus Christ. Whatever spirit that disturb your career, that disturb you. So l'esprit qui perturbe votre carrière vous perturbe. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever spirit, I mean familiar spirit. When I say whatever spirit, you know what it means. Whatever spirit means familiar spirit. Familiar spirit, these are the spirit that cause frustration, tension, pressure. These are the spirit. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Leave my people in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Leave my people in the name of Jesus. <laughs> that spirit that cause 
tension. Ouch. Pressure. Ouch. Frustration. Ouch. Setback. Ouch. Stagnation. Stancamiento. Leave my people in the name of Jesus. Deja mi pueblo en el nombre de Jesús. Every nightmare. Ouch. Every nightmare. Doshma. Every nightmare. Doshma. Nightmare me. What hinder what you deserve? Come on. What? Those things that hinder what you deserve. You deserve excellence. I say you deserve excellence. Yes. Are you not a child of God? You deserve excellence. Those things that hinder what you deserve are nightmare. Every nightmare. Every nightmare. Look at the instruction we are given now. That this instruction, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You cannot be saying thank you, Jesus, all the time and still do evil. You look at me. I'm saying thank you, Jesus. And at the same time, moving to do people. It's not going to work. It's thank you, Jesus. I'm saying in my heart. Now I'm going. Saying in my heart, I'm still going to stay. It cannot work. That name, that is wonderful name, Jesus. There is wonderful name, Jesus. There is wonderful name, Jesus. There is no. forget, Joshua said to his people to shout hallelujah. It's an instruction. And I'm giving you this instruction now. Thank you, Jesus. It's an instruction given to you. He said, children of God, shout hallelujah. And they shout hallelujah and the Jericho word. Jericho word. So this, in the same day, in the same way, I'm giving you this instruction. Don't forget. Begin that, the name, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 24 hours. And you will know who gave you instruction. So right now, the instruction given to you is a prayer I have for you. You open your door, thank you, Jesus. When you get used to it, and that thank you, Jesus, become part of you. Oh, my God, sky will be your limit. Yeah. At the beginning, it will be very difficult because enemy will want to resist to you. We will, there, there will be stiff opposition in your spirit. That, <laughs> until you forget, ah, man of God said, which is, thank you, thank you, Jesus, I've forgotten. Beginning of everything is only difficult. If it's not difficult, it calls for consign. Tell your neighbor, if it's not difficult, at the beginning, it calls for consign. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor. At the beginning, it's always difficult. Very difficult. Show that uh, it's going to work for you. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, whatever pain you have in your system, I command that pain to leave you in the name of Jesus. I command that pain to leave you in the name of Jesus. I command that pain to leave you in the name of Jesus. I command that pain to leave you in the name of Jesus. It is time, it is time, it is time. Are you ready? Whatever that is not functioning in your faculty, Whatever that is not fortunate in your body. I say right now, I release you in the name of Jesus. Come on, release you in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, open your list, open your list and begin to rebook whatever that is not fortunate. Either your blood or your 
kidney, your bone that is not functioning, whatever organ that is not functioning, right now, command it to begin to function, begin to function, begin to function, begin to function, begin to function. Be it your bone, begin to function, begin to function, begin to function, begin to function. Vous voulez vous commencer à si ce qui ne fonctionne pas dans votre vie, demandez que cela commence à fonctionner que ce soit dans vos os, dans votre système au nom de Jésus-Christ. Cualquier órgano que no esté funcionando su sistema, ordénele que funcione en el nombre de Jesús. Begin to function in the name of Jesus. I command you to function in the name of Jesus. I command you to function in the name of Jesus. Place your hand wherever area in your life you have challenges. That blood must function. That kidney begin to function. That liver begin to function. That bone begin to function. I can hear you. Never a disease Jesus cannot heal. I say begin to fortune in the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to fortune in the name of Jesus. Amen. Continue your thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Start this now. This is the time to start it. Where you receive that instruction is the place to start it. Once you start it here, it becomes part of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remember your country in prayer. Whatever you have as a contact point, bring it out. Please ask God to protect your country. Cover your country with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, begin to cover your country with the blood of Jesus. Ask God to redeem your leader. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I can hear you. I can hear you. Right now, bring your case before God. Your righteous journey as you are living here, you want to remain a channel of love. Where there's hatred, you want to remain a channel of love, a channel of forgiveness, a channel of pardon. Where there's injury, ask God to make you his channel, channel of shining light in the name of Jesus Christ. I can hear you. Amen. Channel of justice. Where there's injustice. Open your lips, open your lips. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I can hear you. Amen. I can hear you. Amen. Again and again. Amen. Father, here are your children. Uphold them, Lord. Strengthen them. Give them their desire. Guide them, Lord. Your just and your righteousness shall be with them in the name of Jesus. Let it be with them in the name of Jesus. I can hear you. In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah.